three, two, one, let's go. Right, the hidden teaching to have what you desire. It might come across as being a little contradicting, but it's very powerful. It's been taught by many a wise man, and it exists, and I'm in the process of practicing this and also getting it out to you, the listener, the viewer, the person who is on their own quest to achieve great things and have a better life. So, just going through some old notes here. And I came across a note prior to understanding this teaching. Let me share that with you. So the moment you recognize that to have that which you want, you must remove the feeling of wanting and replace the feeling with the action of doing that which moves you towards the having of your want. Now granted, there's validation to that. However, there's a component to this that it is missing and in a way that is my reference to the hidden teaching to have what you desire and it goes like this this is in my own words to have the goodness we desire in our reality we must first remove its primary desire and replace the sensation of already being the witness of its possession okay so to have the goodness we desire in our reality we must first remove its primary desire and replace that with the sensation of already being the witness of its possession meaning if you're witnessing something it's there in front of you it's there to behold you have it it already exists okay It doesn't mean that, oh, so what, I'm not allowed to want anything or desire anything? No, that's not true because that is the catalyst, that is the seed, that is what stimulates one's imagination. However, the teaching is this. If, by removing the primary desire, like that, that urge or that feeling of the want, like I want this or I need this, and then you replace that, that feeling with the sensation, like replace it with the sensation of already being the witness of its possession, meaning you're, it's already in your reality. And I dubbed this potential reality projection. So you're putting yourself into a reality using the wonders of your imagination that that which you desire already is what's an example the perfect example is well there's two really there's always everyone wants to fucking have a good relationship the secret to that is or the hidden teaching to that is well let's leave that for a separate video actually let's just use good old money if you desire a certain amount of money or just uh, you know a better job better life all these elements really that everyone pretty much fucking wants who's consuming this type of content is to constantly put yourself in the in your imagination being the witness of that so the second part of this is for until such is practiced consistently then said desires will continually remain separate from us and that's part of the teaching. When you have a want or a need or a desire, it's highlighting that it's separate from you. That it's not part of your reality. It's external. I desire that. Like, I desire to have a beautiful woman or I desire to have a better body or a better house or a better job or more money or a better car. Like these are wants, these desires, these are certain outcomes you would like to achieve. Now, by replacing that feeling 
meaning the primary desire, with the sensation or feeling or emotion of it already being so. And you practice that continually until it is. Okay? So that's just a little hidden teach teaching. It exists, but you've got to go and look for a lot of this stuff. So it can be dubbed and labeled as hidden teaching. So one more time, I'll read out both. The moment you recognize that to have that which you want, you must remove the feeling of wanting and replace the feeling with the action of doing that which moves you towards the having of your want. And that is actually very true. Because it's you have to go beyond just wishing and hoping and thinking that you can just sit in idle and what you desire and want will just come to you. There needs to be an equivalent exchange. But to help speed up that process, you would refer to the second interpretation, which is, to have the goodness we desire in our reality, we must remove its primary desire and replace that with the sensation of already being the witness of its possession. For until such is practiced consistently, then said desires will continually remain separate from us. So may if that brought a new perspective into your reality that you can now implement, take on board and practice that. And that is going to Feed the momentum, because we must feed the momentum, it's our responsibility, and practice habits are habits practice, so be good, be great, be brilliant, leave a like, comment, subscribe even, if any of this content brought you some value, appreciate the feedback, and until then, Master yourself so you can master your life. Peace.